construction material. City Tianzi Hona visited one bamboo flooring company in South China's Fujian province to see how a bamboo girl there has become a bamboo queen. Into the jungle. Yuan was born in the small town of Yuan, where bamboo thrives. She called herself a bamboo girl due to her affection of this hardy plant. She went to study in the UK for several years, and just as she was thinking of settling permanently into the colorful city life there, suddenly the summons arrived. My father and my company, um, they just had a pressing need, a person that who can speak English and also have an international vision. Yu Yan's father runs a bamboo container flooring company. The hard work begins right after the bamboo is cut. Though it arrives in steamy, rain-drenched areas, bamboo products require several processing steps to withstand sunshine and moisture, as the steel contains sugar and water. These are the bamboo container flooring ready to be exported around the globe. But it wasn't easy for the international market to recognize the value of bamboo products. Yuan told me her frustrations in the early years. When I first come by to this company, I think the first problem is nobody trusts us. Because um, in many years ago, nobody used the bamboo. They only used the wood, and they used the wood for maybe more than 20 years already. But bamboo's prospects are improving. One reason is environmental awareness. Chinese firms account for 90% of the international export market for laminated bamboo flooring. Its appeal has grown as Western consumers go green. Over the past decade, we have provided financial assistance of up to 100 million U.S. dollars to the bamboo industry. We help enterprises build bamboo research and trade platforms. With the leading technologies and government support, Yuyan's company ranks in the top three in the industry. People call her the bamboo queen now, but she says her goal is to make the green gold shine all over the globe. Hong Nat, CGTN, Yuan, Fujian Province.